Hello everyone, my name is Lana and welcome back to another episode of Luxury Utopia in Oxygen Not Included. In the last episode we dealt a little bit with liquid storage. We have a lot of polluted water here which I want to store. The other problem is that this polluted water is germy so I also made a module for that. And if we go to the left here you can see we made an infinite storage here just like in the last series as well i made it nicely aligned with this uh, natural gas vent or geyser i should say geyser but yeah this can hold an infinite amount of liquids but as i said the liquids on the right are germy so we also made this uh, decontamination chamber let's uh, call it that with three liquid reservoirs which will hold the water as you can see here they're practically full, almost full, at least above the high, high threshold. Uh, and once they're above the high threshold, this door will uh, lock and then it will start uh, releasing liquids again. So that is the way to keep them in liquid reservoirs. And if liquids are in reservoirs and in a chlorine atmosphere, it will actually remove the germs. So you can see here uh, we have 525 germs in here. And if you look here, there's already nothing anymore because yeah, the, the water that comes out here is so uh, cleaned that when it enters here, it's practically immediately clean. And then this one is just here for backup. Um, it will contain quite a bit of water for the long duration, but I don't really mind that too much. I can always turn it off by setting all of the low thresholds to zero. And that way they will just empty out everything. So that was the last episode. In this episode, I want to look at power we already did that for the main planetoid with these natural gas generators we have over 550 kilograms per tile natural gas here so we're very good here we're not having any issues uh, keeping up um, so the power issue or the power power situation that i'm actually going to look at is Gossini, where we have a coal generator as our only power source we're not using a lot of power and we have one uh, small battery. So we're, we're not using this uh, very quickly. I think we send over 5,000 coal and we're still on 4,920. So that isn't really a problem. The thing, however, is that we have these plug slugs here and these plug slugs, they actually generate power during the night. So once we are in this night cycle here, you can see this little chunk, this pizza slice. Uh, if the red arrow is in that pizza slice, it's nighttime. And at that time, these plug slugs will start hanging from the ceiling and generating up to 400 watts of power. If you tame them, it goes even higher, but we're not going to tame them. We're going to actually use them as a free power source. And for that, we need to uh, contain them in a separate box. Uh, they need to be connected to a power wire when they're hanging from the ceiling. We're not going to make power wires everywhere and let them roam around. So we're going to make a box. So we need to have a stable sized room and I think I'm just going to do that here. Let me actually see how big that is going to be. It's uh, 4 times 16, no 4 times 24. So until here and we're only going to dig out this part for now. This should be okay and then this also. Yeah, should still be able to reach everything. Thing is I want everything to drop actually below the tiles as much as possible so we don't have to clean it up anymore so we're just gonna do it uh, i'm gonna do it like that let's just uh, dig out from the top actually so if we start digging from here until here it was then this can already drop down then we dig up this here and then we dig this this is much quicker and then also the tiles we can build already in the back here like so this is going to be the floor, but we're also going to add some batteries down here in order to capture the energy that these plug slugs will generate. Because one smart battery is not going to be enough. If you only generate power during the night in a burst, then you need a lot of batteries. So I'm going to make a couple of those as well. So for now, let's give Bunhee some chance to dig this up. Of course, uh, we have to wrangle these and Bunny cannot wrangle. We're also not going to give her the skills because that will uh, increase her morale requirements. So we're going to send over Frankie as soon as we're ready to uh, go in that direction. So yeah, let's let uh, Bunny dig this up. And actually, we can already... Uh, let's, let's dig this first and then we can build the roof. Yeah, let's do it that way. This way everything should fall down and we don't have to clean everything. Yeah, I like that. For some reason, she always does the plans first. It's probably a priority reason there, but uh, for me, 
Those are all the same. Oh, this is life support. I don't think so. Shouldn't be. So let's add some tiles as well while she's building here. I don't want to lock her in, so let's make sure we do this in a proper fashion like this. And I think her shift is up, so she's going back in here. So I let her sleep during the night. In the meantime, we're going to set up more of these storages. I'm going to add some uh, more above here. We have this line that is coming in, so all the germy water will come from the bottom. Or all the water from other sources will come from the bottom, even from the other planetoid. We have it out here, so I can just move it up to the left. But also this water and I guess more of this as well. We'll see. And all the water will get cleaned, decontaminated, and then we go up. Uh, so we're going to have some more liquid storages here. So let me set this up real quick. All right, last but not least, we need also the pipe. So let's set this up in the same way as the previous one. We're going to go like this. We need a bridge, a couple of bridges actually also here and here. Then we need some more pipes for the cycle here. And then we need a liquid valve there. And this is a power wire, a little bit confusing in this view, but it is what it is. So now we have the liquid pipes, we have the power, and we have the automation all set into place, and they can build this as quickly as they want. I also want to actually dig out this here. We have some carbon dioxide liquefied here. It's not really evaporating, so the coldness is staying in here. So we're just going to open this up completely, and I'm going to do that like so. We're going to go up until here or here. I guess until here is fine. I guess we can go up until here. And then we build a ladder here as well. Let's not build this one. And then we can uh, de deconstruct this one here. But let's, let's dig out this first. So uh, we can open up this area a bit. So the coldness can spread out. Because the rest isn't that cold. We have some more coldness here. But this is 6 degrees. For some reason it's not really mixing with this part here. So yeah, let's let them build a bit and we're going back to Bunny. So Bunny is back awake so we can start setting up the rest of this uh, contraption. We're going to have the wall up until here. What I'm going to do actually is we're going to add one airflow tile here. Because these plug slugs, if they eat uh, any of the raw metals, they will actually excrete hydrogen. And I don't know, I don't think I want to keep that inside this container. So let's just uh, open it up slightly here. And of course, we're going to finish the area here. As for the bottom, well, I see that we have the floor here and that means we cannot get through here. So we need to deconstruct this as well. All right, that's the top part. And now we can start digging up the bottom part. I guess we'll let her run back and deconstruct the ladders first and the floor. And then she can dig up all of this here. I'm also going to set up a little bit of a storage area in case you want to store something. An automatic dispenser here and here. So this is going to be a storage tile for now. So here we have sweep only um, all except liquefiable and critter eggs. And the same will be for this one. And I want to suppress the notification as well okay let's copy that over to the other one and then she can start digging up all of this from the bottom that way we don't have anything to clean up in there and then we're going to dig out underneath as well we can even dig out those two but let's make sure she does the bottom ones first or the top ones first and that's another cycle for bunny let's see how it goes in heavenlyos heavenlyos yeah Okay, we dug out quite a bit here. We can dig out the rest as well. There we go. That should uh, help open up everything. We are still very cold here. But I can see the carbon dioxide has already evaporated 
On this side, this is all constructed. So we have everything in there. We can build those two. Let's make sure that there's no polluted oxygen in here. It doesn't look like it. And once those two are built, we can already start working with the surroundings. Of course, igneous rock around all of this. And then once that is done, we can also build the last ones. And then we have another infinite liquid storage done. All right, Bunny is uh, ready again. Let me see, because we're very close to being ready. Uh, how is Frankie? I guess we're going to bring Frankie over in his uh, in his next cycle. So when he's back here, so we have a little bit less than a cycle ready uh, available to uh, finalize his room, which should be okay. There's not much abyssalite left. Bunny's having a little bit of trouble digging through the abyssalite. All right, those are being removed. Uh, now we can set this to a seven and then we can build more tiles as a six. Uh, let me be careful with that. Okay, she is moving and she is doing the proper things first. Just to want to be careful that I don't lock her up. But as you can see, all the debris falls down and we have no problems with the room. It's all going to be emptied out. Otherwise, that had to uh, remove all the debris by hand. And of course, that's not very efficient. So we're just doing it like this. All right, those are all ready. We can also set up a door here and we can set up who's entombed. Uh, Devon, what the heck are you doing? Bubbles is entombed and Devon is locked in here. I have no idea what you guys are doing. How did you get in there, Bubbles? Okay. We need to rescue Bubbles here. What the heck? How did that happen? Uh, Frankie? Please? Can you... Hello? Would be nice if you removed her. Okay, that is uh, done. Bubbles directly back to work. Uh, that was very weird. So let's... Uh, do we need to remove? Yeah, we need to... Uh, maybe not. Maybe we don't have to remove that because that's inefficient, right? Maybe the copper ore. I don't know if they're going to take that first. But the yeah, granite also, we're not using that. But the igneous rock we should be using here in order to build the stuff. So I'm not too worried about those parts. Okay. So igneous rock, those three. Can we use this please? That would be nice. And this here. Okay, perfect. Then we can build another one here. How are we doing here? Uh, bubbles, where are you? Cannot see bubbles. Oh, she's here. Uh, how are we on our schedule? Of course, we got a little bit distracted. Frankie is sleeping now, so when he wakes up, we have to get him over. Okay, uh, and that should be fine. Let's set up the critter drop off here as well. And I want to start digging out these here, because that's going to take a bit of time. Um, like, let me see. So and so. Then we can dig out this and then we can get in there. Let's go back here and see that they don't make any more mis mistakes here. All right, Frank is about to wake up and I don't see them walking in here anymore. So this should go okay. Also no debris here. Uh, I've given um, Frankie assignment to also uh, lullaby the stone hatch for a second. We were dropping a little bit in stone hatchings here. So yeah, we have to pump that up a bit. I don't know why exactly we lost so many, but it is what it is. So let me let him, he's sleeping here. Once he wakes up, we'll go here and then we will bring him over to the teleporter. Hug the egg. Very nice. And now we can disconnect this. And this lullaby, yes. Nice. Teleports. Go help Bunny. 
Bunny, we have a visitor. Let me also set this to critters. We want plug slugs and plug sluglets. Let me see. We already dug up until there. So we're going to do this real quick. Uh, I want to, for now, make sure that I set the priorities for digging a little bit higher. And also maybe, is this storing? What is, what is the errand here? Ranching. Ranching, I'm gonna put that higher as well. So we can, yeah. Then we will also dig up this here. Okay, Frankie, go ahead, get him. It, uh, this guy is eating already. So he's gonna supply some hydrogen here. Don't know how much he exactly ate. But yeah, it is what it is. Wait, why are you going there? Oh, Bunny is uh, bringing him over. Okay. So we're going to dig out the rest here. As a 9, I want to have this high prior. On the... So yeah, this plug slug uh, ate some cobalt. And you can see they're releasing some hydrogen here. It's not that much. I think it's like 5% or something like that. Or 20% of the materials that they ate. Oh wait, we also need a dispenser in here real quick to get the egg over it is at 91 percent should be fine and then of course we also need to harvest the power of these plug slugs so we're going to do that should we go up here i guess we can do that i'm gonna make this and we're also gonna make some batteries here so uh, let me set those up as well one two three four maybe five Let's keep it on five for now. We can always add more if they're really full. Let's make these slightly lower. We also, of course need to first harvest the energy. Okay, we're bringing over the last plug slugs. Oh, Bunny is going to bed. Nice. I guess um, Frankie has to do this for uh, by himself for a while, but that's fine. Wait, 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 wait. Why is this one here? Frankie. What the heck? Okay, you got him. Okay, set this to the slug eggs as a nine. Sweep only, I guess. Otherwise, they're going to pick it up every time. And then we're going to say sweep this as a nine. Get it over here. What? Uh, oh, it's 93%. We are still not in the night cycle. So if we can build all of these, they're quickly to build. Oh, uh, this is actually all, all full. But yeah, this is going to fill up completely. You can see this one is actually providing 400 watts. I guess that's the one that uh, ate the cobalt. And here we have another one of 400. Okay. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, this battery is all full. We need to make more batteries in order to uh, to take advantage of uh, this energy, of course, because we're going to get way too much. This is a bit like the solar panels, but now we get energy at night instead of at the daytime. And of course, this one is going to be built too late, so it's not going to have any charge. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it is. Okay, it is actually charging up quite a bit. All right, maybe I'm going to make more anyway. Let me see the schedule again. Frankie, it's almost time to get back. What is he doing anyway? He's supplying sedimentary rock. Let me set priorities back. Uh, digging goes down, wrenching goes down. And here these also go back down. Frankie should not be a builder and a digger. So yeah, very close to the end of the schedule. So let's send Frankie back over. Say goodbye to Bunny. And teleports. You're gonna get more visitors later on, I guess. For now, Frankie did his job and made sure that Bunny has some free power. So no more supplying of coal for the for a while. In the meantime, this is at a five. Let's make this a six. So they do this a little bit more quickly. And here we also see that everything is now built. Let me check. This is done. The pipes are all done. Oh, the pipes are not all done. Let's make sure we, oh, we could have built that also later. And then we also need to build the last two tiles here. And then we have another liquid storage room done. I might just build more off camera. We don't have to show them every time because they're just the same system every time. 
In the meantime, we're also working out to destroy all the slime areas. We have this big area left over uh, with a lot of slime coming from here. We actually only have 192 uh, kilograms right now. I guess because I've been giving them other assignments, so they've not been working on this. They've been working on opening this up. Uh, so now it's actually minus 14 here. I guess the, the liquid pipes are going to warm up a bit now. But yeah, no more freeze dangers. And we actually have quite some room left over in our liquid reservoirs. I might just make more for the brine. So Glossini, Bunny is working hard, adding more batteries. I might just make one or two more. Yeah, why not? Just make two more. They're going to lose charge over time. So we're going to lose charge here quite quickly because of these batteries. But the net gain should be higher than the losses. Especially since two of these plug slugs have eaten. So two of them are not, this one is not hungry, and this one is not hungry. So they will be generating 400 watts for a while. Over time they'll get more and more hungry, and then they will not be eating anymore. That's gonna be it, I think, for this episode. We can continue constructing all of this, and we're gonna let Bunny do that. So yeah, that should be okay. We have more energy here. Let's wait for another night to see how much power these are now generating and how far we can charge these batteries. Of course, we only had one battery here and it was only there for the last couple of seconds. So that's why this is uh, almost empty again. We should have a lot more power once these flux flux go to sleep again. All right, another night has come. So let's see what happens here with these plug slugs. See our batteries are charging fairly quickly. Let's see how far we can charge it up before the end of the night. We have 800, almost 1200 watts of free power at night. And as you can see, uh, small battery is completely charged up and these are going to go very far. Almost 10,000 joules of, yeah, 10,000 joules in those batteries. Very nice. Free power. So that is going to be it for this episode. We got our free power. Uh, it's going to drop off in power a bit, but once we lay new eggs uh, with new plug slugs, which start with zero hunger, it will be refreshed a bit. So on average, we'll get a decent chunk of power, at least more than we need, because this refrigerator typically is at 20 watts, and we have one deodorizer here at 5 watts, so we need 25 watts for now. Of course, at some point, we're going to need a little bit more and we have some losses, of course, but we're going to be fine with power on this planetoid for quite a while with this setup. So I'm very happy with that. And Bunny can do the digging, which is the most important part. All right, that was it for the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done that yet and see you in the next video.